If you want a great overview of deep learning in 2024, this is the course for you. How long does it take? How much does it cost? Is it worth it? And I'll also share tips on how to complete the course. The course is great for anyone new to deep learning who wants to get an overall picture of the field. It is also useful for people already building models, but have a poor understanding of the principles on how the models work. You go to Coursera.org and then type in deep learning and it will give you the deep learning specialization as the number one hit. You also see the machine learning specialization which is kind of a more beginner course compared to the deep learning specialization. If you have no idea about machine learning, I highly recommend taking the machine learning specialization because it will give you really the ground basics on what you need to do to understand uh, the deep learning. So the, I already took the machine learning specialization. It's pretty uh, heavy on math and it's quite basic. I actually enjoy the deep learning specialization a lot more. Here's the deep learning specialization. It's by deeplearning.ai, which was founded by Andrew Ng who's also the uh, instructor of the course. He's really famous. He worked for Google and also in Baidu. Uh, he's a kind of a legend in uh, AI. So it's a great teacher to have. Uh, it's intermediate level. It's really useful to have uh, Python knowledge and the estimate takes three months at 10 hours a week. I'll talk a little bit more on how long it took me. You can work kind of on your own. Uh, I think there is some course credit, but I won't really count on that. The deep learning specialization consists of uh, five different courses. You can see them listed. And once you complete each of those courses, you will receive the deep learning specialization certificate. The separate courses are neural networks and deep learning, improving deep neural networks, hyperparameter tuning, regularization, structuring machine learning projects, sequence models, and convolutional neural networks. Each course consists of several weeks of material. This particular one is four weeks. And in each week you have um, several videos, like right here, you have welcome video, and then you have lots of different videos. Usually it's about one to two hours of video content. Then you have a quiz and finally you usually have a programming assignment. If you count up weeks of all the different courses, you get 17 weeks. I completed the whole specialization in three months uh, under pretty easy schedule. I could have easily done it in two. And if you are really intense and you don't have a full-time job and kids, you can probably do it in one month. Here on the starting page, it says enroll for free, but the course is not free. It's free, I think, for first seven days, but you can't really complete the course in seven days. And after that, you have to pay $50 a month. So how much the whole specialization is going to cost you depends on how fast you do it. So if you're super intense and you do it under one month, you can uh, do it, get it all done in uh, under $50. If it takes you two months, $100. It took me three months, so I paid $150 for a certification. I think it's uh, quite worth it. I got a really good understanding of the deep learning frameworks. So overall, it's recommended. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. Here are some tips on how to complete the course. For easier videos like the intro videos, you can watch at 1.25 speed. I think uh, Andrew talks uh, kind of slowly, so you can see here, here's a playback rate, and this is 1x, and you can easily increase to 1.25x. For intro videos, I found it to be no problem to watch at this speed. Uh, once you get into the code and the more complex topics, I generally went back to 1x speed because I found it a little too fast paced for me. But if you are really used to coding, it might be fine for you, maybe even 1.5 speed. Each week of each course has a quiz that you have to pass. It's always 10 questions, it's multiple choice, but you can also have a question that tells you select all that apply. Uh, I found these quizzes to be a lot more difficult than in the machine learning course. A lot of times I didn't get the 100% grade, uh, a lot of times like 80 or 90%, uh, especially the questions where you can select all multiple options, like select all that apply. I usually missed one of those. Um, but if you fail after the first try, don't worry about it. You usually have uh, three attempts every 24 hours. Uh, for this particular one later in the course, you have three attempts every eight hours. I don't think I needed more than two attempts on any of them. Uh, and if you pay attention to the videos and really understand the content, uh, generally I passed majority of them on the first try. The third course, Structuring Machine Learning Projects, I found actually the most useful from all the specialization. I'm midway through my career. I'm trying to transition from uh, pharma to uh, AI in pharma. So I don't expect to spend majority of my time coding uh, in my future work. I think I'll be more managing uh, AI projects and uh, kind of combining my knowledge of uh, pharma and biology with uh, artificial intelligence. So for me, uh, this is more uh, geared to like uh, project managers and understanding how the models work. And uh, if you have a whole team of people who can do the models, um, prep the data for you, then this will really be useful for you to understand what's happening inside a team and be able to manage the project. In each course for every week, you have also an assignment. Usually you have one or two programming assignments, and these are pretty complex. So uh, they're all done in the Jupyter Notebooks, as you can see. 
This is a blank copy, which uh, I made a copy where my answers are not filled in. And now uh, it gives you a nice little background of what you're trying to accomplish, what kind of model you're trying to build. There's a nice table of contents, so you can kind of go through it. Um, you import the libraries and then it tells you what kind of model you're trying to build. Building models like these would be very complex if it was like blank Jupyter notebook and go ahead and uh, write the whole code and everything. I think that would be extremely difficult. But in these assignments, you don't have to do that. So a lot of this stuff is pre-filled for you. So the structure we're trying to build, how you're going to build it, it's all pre-filled. And then you have exercises that you have to like fill in certain blanks. So here you're creating a function, the zero pad. And all you have to do is just write one line of code right here. So it always says uh, your code starts here and your code ends here. So you only have to fill in right here. And it also it tells you how many lines of code you're supposed to write. So in here, it's just one line, so it's super simple. Uh, then it keeps going, and here's exercise two, and this particular one is uh, three lines. So three lines of code, and you're supposed to fill in all of these. But the assignments themselves are actually quite long. So as you can see, if you scroll through, it's a quite a bit of text to read and understand and what's going on. But I think this is a really great way to learn the concept. The videos are great. It tells you kind of the overview of how things work. But I think I learned the most in these assignments. All of these assignments, it says estimate time three hours. Uh, that's pretty much meaningless. Uh, some of these assi assignments, especially early in the courses, I did probably in 20, 30 minutes pretty easily. And some of these I spend maybe five hours on, especially if you don't have Python knowledge. Uh, you can get stuck and uh, for some of them I didn't know the functions at all so I had to go to the Python um, uh, help materials and like uh, TensorFlow and NumPy and really read the functions to see how they work and then I was able to implement it. So if you have a lot of Python knowledge you can go through these much much quicker than probably I could. So in summary, pros, great overview of deep learning concepts. It gives you foundation to understand pretty much all current AI models. It is taught by a well-known uh, teacher in AI. The Python assignments are really nicely structured and you get a certificate. Cons, the production quality is pretty dated. Uh, pretty much all the videos is just Andrew Ng talking. And uh, if you don't see him talking, it's uh, just uh, uh, PowerPoint slides where he's kind of going through them and he writes over the screen on certain things. So it really does not look like a modern uh, YouTube video from 2023, 2024, where you have a lot of graphics help you understand. This is pretty basic. So these videos look like they're from about 10, 15 years ago. After you stop paying for your subscription, you lose access to all the material. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.